I met my co-founder, her name is Camille. She's from France. Um, and at a random Monday night dinner that ended with wine at three o'clock in the morning, um, she told me about the school that was started in Paris. And the founder of Ecole 42 started Iliad, the biggest telecoms company in France. And we often think that the challenges we face is unique to South Africa. It's not. Um, he was saying in France, I can't find the skills for my business. And he's actually a very interesting example because he never studied either. He taught himself to code way back when, before the internet even existed, if anyone can remember a time like that. And then their whole model was, we need to teach people how to solve problems. And the first time, so long story short, we just said, we're going to do this. And I realized I can't keep on working at RMB. And actually, I really love RMB. You'll hear me still say us and not them. But I, I just was ready for, I wanted a new challenge. I, I remember once just doing an amazing deal. I was so fortunate to work on these awesome deals. But I, I thought, it's so, it's so short-lived, this high of doing the deal. I felt like I wanted to do something that's a bit more sustainable and, and have a bit more impact. And um, just decided, okay, I'm going to just take the plunge. And I had this thing in my head that I need to resign before I turn 30. So a week before my birthday, um, I just resigned. And um, Camille decided to move to South Africa. And we flew over to, to France to go meet with 42. And one of the first things um, that they said to us is, here, we don't teach anything, but they learn everything. And I kind of love that. So the entire model is about peer-to-peer -peer learning. Um, you have no teachers, you have no classes, you have projects. So your incentive is to solve the project, is to build the code that actually does something. And in order to do that, you need to learn. But no one stands in front of a classroom and tells you exactly what you need to learn. Go figure it out on your own. Because this is how the world works today. What are you going to do in the workplace when you get there and there's no textbook with the latest language that Google just started using? You need to figure it out. So these are really the skills that I believe, these are the skills of the future.